Hello dear students, in this subject to what hydraulic engineering, today we will continue the chapter that is dimensional analysis and today we will uh, complete this chapter. In the last class we discussed about the different dimensionals, uh, dimensionless numbers like Reynolds numbers, Euler's number, Schwarz number, Max number or reverse number. Okay, And also discussed about a similitude and so how similitude can, uh, can be um, attend and the sim and the similarity that we discussed between uh, this prototype and model like a geometric similarity, kinematic similarity, dynamic similarity. Okay, and today we'll discuss about the model laws. What is this model laws? Mod that we discussed the dynamic similarity in the last class. It means between from model and prototype, the ratio of corresponding forces acting at different uh, corresponding points in model and prototype may be equal. The ratio should be equal of different forces at corresponding points. OK. It means that uh, actually the dimensionless numbers like Reynolds number or Euler's number or, or Froude's number, these numbers are nothing but the ratio of the forces different forces like inertia force, gravity force, uh, the well, gravity force, okay, like in Euler's number, viscous force in Reynolds number, surface tension force in Weber's number, okay. So all these uh, numbers, dimensionless numbers, are nothing but the ratio of the forces. So if, if you want to maintain the dynamic similarity between model and prototype, the ratio of corresponding forces at acting at corresponding points in model and prototype may be equal, which implies that the dimensionless number should be same in the model and prototype because dimensionless number nothing but the ratio of the forces. However, it is difficult to satisfy for all dimensionless numbers. Means to make it same, to make it same for all dimensionless number for a particular study, for a particular study, all dimensionless numbers cannot be same between model and prototype. Cannot be same between model and prototype. Means for a particular study, let uh, we are going to um, study a viscous flow, the property of viscous flows so we are going to study. Then uh, the Reynolds number, Euler's number, Weber's number, Max number, all these numbers cannot be same for the prototype and model. Okay, that is very difficult. That is very difficult to satisfy. So hence the model is designed on the basis of force which is dominant in flow situation. For an example, in case of viscous force, uh, viscous flow, the viscous force is important because of coefficient of viscosity. So if viscous force is important and viscous force is dominant, then the model is designed on basis of Reynolds number. Because Reynolds number contains, the, which is the a ratio of the inertia force and viscous force. So if the study, which is conducted on basis of Reynolds number, okay, means the dynamic similarity it is attaining, considering the Reynolds number only, then it is called, okay, that is called Reynolds number law. The law on which the models are designed for dynamic similarity are called model or similarity laws. Okay, the law on which the models are designed means that the, uh, the study which is conducted for that models are prepared and that models Reynolds number of the prototype is equal to Reynolds number of model. Means this is a dynamic similarity is obtained between model and prototype. So this is called Reynolds model law. Okay, like here Reynolds number model law means Reynolds number of model and prototype is made equal. It means rho v l by mu of model and prototype is equal. So if it is zero, then density of prototype divided by density of this model into this, we can uh, just simplify it. 
okay to make the ratio of different variables like density velocity ratio this is the length ratio this is the kind of dynamic viscosity ratio okay which will be equal to 1 so velocity ratio if we want to maintain between model and uh, this prototype then this velocity ratio which will be equal to the velocity of prototype and model is equal to length into tau tau is the mu by rho so from here from this equation we can determine so here we can determine this velocity ratio bp by bm so bp by bm will be equal to here it will be lm this will be density and this coefficient of viscosity means mu by rho is this tau this tau is kinetic viscosity which is dynamic viscosity divided by the density okay so this can be determined which will be tau divided by l okay tau ratio divided by length ratio time ratio is can be determined time ratio is tp by tm okay that is for prototype and model so the time ratio is nothing but length by velocity so this can be determined as length ratio divided by velocity ratio acceleration ratio can be determined acceleration is velocity per uh, in that will be velocity ratio. similarly the discharge ratio force ratio power ratio everything can be determined and that can be compared between the model and prototype okay so this reynolds model is applied in this in these studies means in the motion of airplanes fluid flowing pipes submarine motion in water floor and structure okay so in this type of studies the reynolds number is made equal between model and prototype so that model is called that means model is following the reynolds number model law next is proud's model law okay the study in which the model is following this proud's model law proud's number okay means proud's number is made bit, uh, equal between model and prototype that means uh, it says that the model is following proud's model law it means the velocity divided by square root of lg is made equal between model and prototype so from this equation the velocity ratio can be determined time ratio can be determined acceleration ratio can be determined discharge ratio can be determined force ratio is determined power ratio is determined okay so these ratios are made equal between the model and prototype to get geometric similarity to get kinematic similarity and obviously it is the dynamic similarity okay so this proportional model uh, law is followed in these cases when flow is or years flow over spillways of dams flow over open channels next is euler's model law euler's model law means the euler's number is made equal between model and prototype it means the velocity divided by square root of p by rho is made equal between model and prototype so from this equation the time ratio velocity ratio everything can be determined acceleration ratio everything can be determined so in the study where the model is made to make uh, is um, a model is made to make this uh, euler's number is same between model and prototype then that model is called euler's model law and it is this type in this studies the euler's model law is followed the discharge through our okay mouth pieces or uh, sluices pressurized due to sudden closure of valve flow through pipes okay so the studies in uh, where pressure force is dominant where the pressure force is dominant so we can make euler's number uh, made equal between the model and prototype we can make this euler's number same between model and prototype so we cannot make all the numbers like reynolds number we cannot make same we cannot make crouch number same or we cannot make max number or weber's number same between model and prototype so all the numbers we cannot make only force which is dominant like pressure force here it is dominant so only we can make pressure force since here pressure force uh, uh, the euler's number we can make equal so if you can make it equal then you can say the model is following euler's model law so in these studies 
this Mollers model law is followed. Next is Weber's model law. Weber's model law is followed when surface tension is important. Surface temperature tension is dominant, like in capillary movement of water, in soil and blood. Okay. In this model, the Weber's number is made equal. Weber's number is B divided by square root of sigma by rho L. So this B by sigma root or uh, square root of sigma by rho L is made equal between model and prototype. Okay. So from this equation, the velocity ratio, time ratio, the force ratio, everything can be determined, and we can say the model is uh, uh, the model can attain the geometric uh, geometric similarity, the kinetic similarity, dynamic similarity. Okay. So the last one is the max model law. If it follows max number, if it is made that uh, the between model and prototype, the max number is same. That means the ratio of velocity and the velocity of speed. Sorry, velocity of the sound. Sorry. This is the velocity of the uh, of the sound. Velocity of the flow uh, be, uh, divided by the velocity of sound. Okay, that ratio is made be, uh, equal between model and prototype. So this maximum model is followed when uh, compressibility is important. Compressibility is dominant. So in these cases, when there is high velocity of flow problems, when there is uh, a projectile and missile uh, motion with high speed. In this type of studies, this max model law is followed. OK, so in this type of studies, again, I'm saying that the Reynolds number or any other number cannot be made same. It is difficult. OK, so it's optional. It can be made same, but that is not required because that for all the all like viscous force, all the other forces are not dominant or minor forces. So only the force which is dominant, which is major force, which is important, that uh, number, that Reynolds number is made equal between the model and prototype. So that is called that model law. If it is max model, uh, max number, then it is max model law. Okay. For an example, this, uh, if you see this uh, example, an oil of specific gravity 0 0.92, viscosity 0 0.03 poise is to be transported at rate 2500 liter per second through a 1.2 meter dia test we are conducted on a 12 stem dia pipe using water at 20 degrees Celsius is 0 0.01 points. Find velocity of flow in model, discharge in model. So here, in the, here oil specific gravity it is given, specific gravity is given, viscosity is given, okay, is it will be transported at rate of discharge is given. Means density you can say, density, viscosity and the discharge is given. And diameter is given. Okay, the, this is the prototype. These are the, these are the data for the prototype. Means the real uh, the real case. The experiment case and means in the lab the model. These data the test were conducted on 12 cm dia pipe. That means this is the experiment the model which we have prepared. That diameter from diameter of the model pipe using water at 20 degrees Celsius 0 0.0.1 0 0.1 points. That means the, uh, the dynamic viscosity of model. So it is asking velocity of the flow in model and discharge in model. So if we apply here in this case, the viscous force is important since viscosity is given. So we can say that viscosity, the viscous flow, and uh, uh, so we can say the viscosity is important. So or Reynolds number we can take. Okay, we can make the uh, Reynolds model law we can apply. So if you can apply my Reynolds model law, then rho B D by mu should be equal to be equal between model and prototype. So from this equation, the velocity can be determined. Velocity of the model uh, divided by velocity of the prototype will be equal to from this equation, it will be rho P by rho M into dP by dM into rho e mu M by e mu P. So here diameter uh, is given for both prototype model Viscosity is given for both model and prototype, density is also given. So here the ratio can be determined, velocity ratio. And from that velocity ratio, the velocity of model can be determined. Okay. So here the QM, the discharge will be area into velocity. 
here the, uh, actually here the velocity of prototype is given it actually discharge is given so discharge by area will be the velocity so here discharge by area discharge is 2500 liter you have to convert it in meter cube okay divided by area area of the prototype that uh, means area of this pipe of the prototype model that means pi by 4 into 1.2 square okay so discharge uh, of the model will be equal to area of the model cross sectional area of the pipe of the model means this pi by 4 into 12 cm uh, uh, square so you have to convert it into meter square into velocity of the model velocity of the have determined here okay now you can calculate the discharge so like this the uh, the different um, unknown variables is calculated using the different model laws okay so now we have uh, discussed this model laws okay so in the dimensional analysis we, uh, we discuss everything what is the concept of the dimensional analysis different dimensional numbers how dimensional analysis is, is conducted like different methods working up method or less method that we discussed and here now today we'll discuss, we'll discuss this model laws okay how different model laws are applied in which case it is de-applied okay and why it is applied okay so this must thank you thank you so much so now we have completed this chapter thank you